Hey everyone, welcome back to more uh, Quest of Beings 2. So we got some upgrades in the last part that will uh, help us out just a bit. And we're going to resume. And yeah, this has the same rules as uh, uh, Quest of Beings that you, you, know, you save in a level, you'll start right at the entrance rather than having to backtrack all the way. Uh, so this saves some, you know, having to go back all the way from the beginning. And since I'm here, I might as well take out this level you know, before going back to level 2. <clears throat> so again, it really helps if you manage to get the white sword. Pick up another magic jar. And I think you can actually bomb the right wall. Uh, but I don't think we can go right yet, so I'll go on down first. I'm getting lots of bombs back. Okay, so after you pick up that key, um, again, I don't think you can go right just yet. <clears throat> uh, problem is you got no candle, at least yet. So you're just gonna have to kind of stumble your way through this room. Now the traps do go in four directions, so it's kind of tricking them so that you can move on. And uh, there's a stairway in this room. Wait. Don't remember which block to push, though. Yeah, at least we're back with our traditional bats in these little basements, rather than having the whiz robes. Although that was only just that one level, because there was always bats before and, you know, other, the other levels. Actually leave some of these enemies here because I know I have to. You're gonna have to do some backtracking. To the left is the main route, but you actually need some more keys, so you know, save yourself the trouble just go up. This game is a little different. Uh, it kind of reverses the how the candles work. So, so before you start thinking you can use your candles many times you want, no, it's uh, it's actually reversed in this particular quest. I guess it sort of makes sense. You know, I guess a blue flame is hotter than a red one. 
but you know, think of this as your blue candle, so you only can use it once per room. And yes, this thing uses magic, so you want to be a little bit cautious. You know, instead of just throwing your recklessly throwing your candle out. And going down here, you pick up the magic boomerang. Pretty much for free. Might as well take the somewhat free gift there. Okay, now that you have a candle, you can actually work back to the right side. See, traps don't prevent respawning. Uh, bubbles do. So. Yeah, this is what you need. <clears throat> uh, you need a candle. Because, you know, you can't burn these bushes otherwise. Now this is an interesting clue. You notice that I, you know, I got a heart container right at the beginning of this level. Uh, level two will have that as well. There's a place where you can pick up a, another heart container, pretty much for free. This room is. There's more to it than it seems. Um, so you actually get the arrow. Um, so yeah, you don't have to buy an arrow. You actually find it. Uh, you want to make sure you head on up here. And you might want to find this because you need this key. Um, actually, you know, honestly, your map actually helps you get a sense of whether you can go, you know, go up there or not. Uh, this room is just some more Dodongos, and they look a little different, but I think they're the same. Um, they operate the same way, it's probably just like, whatever, reskins or palette swaps or whatever. They operate the same way as your normal Dodongo. Uh, so pick up the extra key. So you want to make sure you have a couple keys with you. Tracking back to that other <coughs> uh, room on kind of the upper half of the level. Gels are actually good for um, 
magic refills, so you, you can kind of use the troubles to your advantage. So the boss is obviously up to the top, and you can probably take a guess at what you're going to battle. No tricks. And in this quest, you can't, you know, you notice you can't damage yourself with the candle. Alright, you want to head on down first. Take a pretty good guess at what you're gonna battle in this place. <clears throat> you can actually fight uh, a Goma right now. So, and again, you should. No tricks. Should still know what you're gonna battle. I'm just gonna waste money. Got plenty of it to use up. spot for some bomb refills. off this. Uh, it looks like a fairly large lull. It's actually, it goes by pretty quick. Pretty straightforward level. Luckily, it's not a lot of backtracking to the boss. Oh, two blue gomas. I thought there was only one. I mean, I, you know, you could really take a guess you're gonna fight a goma. You know, you get the bow and arrow in this place. I wasn't expecting two of these things, though. Not that it's any more difficult. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, we're doing the levels a little bit out of order, but we're gonna actually go back and scoop up level two. reason why to leave that behind, actually because there's there's actually two heart containers, you know, one for the boss obviously, and then there's an extra one. You could just do F6 and continues just to get yourself back to the start, but this isn't that much backtracking. Actually, doesn't the flute work as a warp? 
actually. Because it doesn't take up any magic. Yeah, so it works as a... I'm trying to figure if the original Quest of Beings had that. Because I don't think I ever used the whistle for that purpose. I know there's another quest that I um, I have on my list of ones to do later on. Uh, the whistle has no warping ability. I mean, it, it's used for something completely different. Okay, so we're just gonna go back and mop up level 2, and it, I don't think it should take that long to clean it out, honestly. Still picking up more money. <clears throat> I mean, this level should be a piece of cake now. This. I just prefer to do it this way. It just makes things a little bit easier. Okay, so I didn't go past this point. So, obviously, one way door, so let's head on up. Smidge easier with the. The, um. Oh, here, you wanna play long distance? I can play long distance as well. I can play the same way. pick up this kind of odd-looking map. Now this is a really weird room. Uh, can't see anything. After you clean it out, you, there's your free heart container. Looking at a few well timed clocks. that there for just a bit. <clears throat> and on this way first. <clears throat> now, I think this one only splits into one, so it's not a big deal. You know, let's pick up the boss key, which is, you know, pretty easy to get now. side of the level. Honestly, it doesn't, doesn't take that long to clean out, you know, especially with some upgrades. I'm about to fill up the rest of my wallet right now. Likes noise. 
But yeah, that's basically a clue for, you know, you get an idea of what you're gonna fight in this level. Well, that's kind of weird. Falling rocks? Really? At least it's only one, not three. why I got the upgrades beforehand. Yep, another dig dogger. And this one I believe splits into three. That's kind of why I decided to get the upgrades. I mean if you can stun it with your boomerang correctly then it's easy. But if they start running around the place, you know, you, you know, without a blue ring it's too hard to hit. And you only have probably what, five or maybe six hearts at this point? Better to be a little bit on the safer side. Alright, so cleaned out a couple levels in this part. And you know what? I have a little more time. There's something. Might as well pick this up because it's kind of in an out of the way spot. So if you hit on the right side, we haven't actually gone to this area yet. Now up into the mountains. This one I also uses more Link's Awakening music. Kind of fits, you know, what it's for. Because in Link's Awakening, this is mountain area. Okay, uh, this cave here you will not be going to for a very long time, so don't waste uh, stuff trying to open that. Now you'll be told when to go there. You know, good for magic refills. You know, there's this thing right here. Uh, it looks like a Goma Eye. So use your newly found arrows to make a path. And you get a lone bat rope piece in this room. So you want to pick this up first. Pick up that uh, power bracelet because you are, you know, obviously going to need that. All right, so I think we accomplished quite a bit. Got two levels out of the way. Got a power bracelet. And uh, next part we will go towards level four and tackle that. All right, see you guys later.